the 8th day of July, 2018. I'm standing at Upriver Dam on the Spokane River in downtown Spokane, Washington. As you can see, there's not a lot of activity, not a lot of water going over the dam. At this very site in days gone by, I've made videos showing you the high water level runoff in the month of March and April. It's hard to believe how much change can happen in three short months. But that's what life's all about. Change. You know, if you don't change the way you think, you'll never change anything in your life. Because everything that happens in your life is because you had a thought that produced or created the idea about achieving something. So no thoughts, no ideas. No ideas, no effort. No effort, no action. No action, no results. You know, it's not rocket science on how you make it in life. You make it between your ears first. And if you haven't decided to succeed, in your mind for yourself before you begin the process then you probably won't make the grade it's not negative it's just the truth success begins with a decision that you're going to do what the god-given idea was that was placed into your own mind now the little water that turned into a river that turned into a raging torrent has passed because good opportunities, good deals, good blessings and benefits don't come to you every day. They come to you slowly, occasionally over your lifetime. I once read where psychologists estimated that almost everybody on earth will get a couple of chances to really do something great with their life. Sadly, they're not prepared to act on the opportunity when it's presented. Well, how do you know if it's the opportunity? Your own mind and your own heart will tell you. All great things that come into your life came from God, whether you want to believe that or not. And He isn't going to waste a good opportunity on a non-performer. So if you cannot pick up yourself Get yourself pointed in the direction you want to go and then persevere until you reach the desired destination. Don't kid yourself. There's a price to be paid to achieve success. There are no free lunches. So just like the water that's now gone through the dam and on down the river channel, on in, to the ocean. That power, that creatable energy, that force in motion has to wait for another year. Because there are not two spring runoffs. You don't get another opportunity the next day. Success occurs when opportunity and preparedness meet. It is a major focal point of your life. No matter how great the opportunity is, if you're not prepared to take advantage of it, you'll never put things together the way God designed them to be. Now, the final point. Disturbances, interruptions. We're standing right next to an airfield, Feltz Field in Spokane, and all the Private pilots like to go out and fly on a sunny, warm Sunday afternoon. But if you're going to be successful, you can't worry about interferences. You can't worry about distractions. you got to stay focused on that which you've decided to do and do it and do it and do it and keep doing it until you achieve it. That requires a mighty why. And the why is right, the how is easy. So if you're struggling with how you do things, you don't have a big enough why. 
two words of private personal counsel, get one. If you don't have a big why, there's no real need for a how. Focus, persevere, and never give up. And you will make it. I'll be back next spring, stand in the same place, and we'll see the changes that occurred in the river over a year's time. I'd like you at the conclusion of this video to go look yourself dead in the eye in a mirror and then come back a year from today and see how much change has occurred in you. Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear.